<laughs> you know, um, when you have the availability of taking a person's brain, yeah, <laughs> and making it seem like it's their thoughts when it's not, <laughs> And then you introduce them to being in your top secret family so that you can have a dog that looks like them. Yeah. <laughs> so they can sit on the planning commissions of city councils or county commissioners. Yes. <laughs> a lot of these billionaires, they just don't want to mess around with zoning and variances and all the other necessaries. <laughs> they want to build where they want to build. <laughs> Now, Amancio, yes, Spain, do you have solar panels over there? <laughs> I thought for sure that the Koch brothers wanted to take over the world, yes. And with their $85 billion of net worth, yes. Any place they want to put a factory, they just put it there, yes. And if a city council, a county commission, or even the state, yes, disagreed with what they wanted, <laughs> what they do is they take their brains, right, they give them their thoughts on why it's such a good idea to build a factory there. Yes, <laughs> they get a zoning variance right now. Now, let's say that I look through the actual properties of those that are in manufacturing, and <laughs> I found out that Carlos, yes, was employing mm -hmm, uh, daughters and sons pooch, to run the family business because he's old. <laughs> he's going to retire, and he has a some legacy planning to do for his actual empire that he's built over the course of his life. <laughs> for a lot of billionaires, Carlos, Amancio, Warren, <laughs> Rupert, <laughs> that are up there in age, their Hans, <laughs> it makes it a lot easier on them when I sue them for their actual net worth. <laughs> See, Sheldon, he's up in age at $30 billion. <laughs> and his thought was over the last 20, 30 years that <laughs> he did not want to go through the rigmarole yes, <laughs> of having to go through all these processes of, of getting variances. <laughs> when he could just take their brains, <laughs> he could get any sort of exception that he wants <laughs> because because they will have his thoughts, and since he does know and they don't know, it's so much easier to do business as a billionaire. <laughs> now, the thought was mm -hmm, that this invasive species, an alien species to the actual human beings. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm really helping Amancio. Mm -hmm. I'm sure his daughter is a really nice woman. and He loves her with his whole heart. <laughs> but instead of having to estate plan, which <laughs> it's where I sue him, yes, for his total net worth. Yeah. And then I ask him, well, Amancio, <laughs> let's say somebody did what you wanted. <laughs> what would you do with your assets over the next 20 to 30 years? <laughs> now, Amancio, <laughs> he knows what he liked to do. Yes. But he's constrained. He has the family relationship to what they want to do after his death. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm helping these older billionaires accomplish what they want when they die. Now, Carlos, up there in age. Yes, he doesn't want to leave it to his daughters. No, he doesn't want to leave it to his son-in-laws. He wants me to come in and sue him for everything he owns. <laughs> There's no estate taxes. No. There's no lawyers necessary. It's a little lawsuit that says Paul gets all that Carlos owns. And then I ask him one day, if you had some say in what happens to your assets, <laughs>